glow plug issues. Uh, been a little while since I gave an update. Been working through all these little bugs. Um, had the uh, turbo actuator bracket break on me and um, had to get that repaired. And Darkseid sent me a new one, uh, much beefier. Uh, it was able to hit the third third bolt hole on the, the exhaust housing and uh, filled in some of this loose space here. You can see that it cracked right there. I tried to repair it in place and I kind of, uh, you know, fried on it a little bit. But, um, you know, the new one is, is much better and I can, maybe I got a picture of that somewhere I can add here. But so, so I was down for that for a little while. I had to get that repaired. Um, that seems to be straight away. Well, then... Um, I was going to run some logs for the cylinder pressure and I found that cylinders one and two were about the same at about 220 bar and then cylinders three, uh, cylinder three was um, about half of that, about 100, 130 or something like that and then cylinder four uh, was flatlining zero so I thought well geez that thing is toast so I uh, I went to turn it out, I spun it out, I spun it out, and I thought that I, this head had separated and it was freewheeling because it was turning hard, but it wasn't coming out. And so I spun it out and I thought, well, that sucks, you know. I'm going to have to somehow extract that out of the head because it's separated right here. Well, what had turned out was that this cup at the end had actually separated off, and I had threaded it out, and it was sitting there like that. And I had the plug off, and I thought, well, you know, it's jammed in there. Maybe I can, you know, I'll still drive it. But I had the, I had the plug taken off. Well, I went down the road, and this plug, since it was not threaded in, it actually blew out. <laughs> and it, made, it was hilariously loud with that open cylinder. So I shut it down, unplugged the injector. I was able to limp it home on three cylinders, and I'll put a video clip in here. It was just ridiculously loud uh, to run on three cylinders like that. Um, but I unplugged the injector so that it wouldn't wash the cylinder with diesel and just got it home about uh, five miles. Um, so this was number four. That one blew out. Number three, that was... Um, that was reading a different uh, pressure um, I replaced and then I started to do some I guess destructive testing on it to see what was going on with it but um, this one you know has a bit of meltiness to the end but um, well then I decided to check uh, one and two and this guy uh, I don't know if you can see it here this guy is certainly melty and there's some material coming off and same with number two uh, even worse you know and I got a couple of close-up pictures I can put on there but um, not good I, I don't know if the not sure if the um, injector is spraying directly on it and what I'm gonna have to do I think I'll I'll stick I have my junk head here I'll stick I'll stick a glow plug in and an injector in and see you know how they mock up but the new injectors I have from dark side um, you know if they have a different uh, uh, shoulder to tip length maybe or something I think it's unlikely that the injector is spraying right on there I think it's just plain old EGTs that are melting these um, the tunes that I have right now are actually pretty clean and they're 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 doing pretty good but Mark uh, sent me over a, a uh, dino queen tune <laughs> that was a little extra fuel and that one did make a little bit of EGTs that one uh, made about uh, oh geez that one did get up to like 900 but otherwise right now and I can post some um, some log snippets too here some pictures on with this that one um, uh, made some EGTs the uh, the ones I have been running really haven't they've been running around 650 which is very good um, I assume with the, the head porting and the cams and and whatnot and that big turbo once it spools up man it it really blows some air in there to cool things off so um, you know, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is uh, keep an eye on the new ones, or let's let's say the used ones that I put in. You know, here's a couple other ones that I have left over, but I I change them all out so they're all fresh. But um, 
Uh, these had roughly 5,000 miles on them since they were last inspected and in good shape. Like, you know, they look like this one, right? Um, which is in good shape. Um, these are all, they all were used and have miles on them, but, um, you know, they certainly didn't look like this. So I'll have, uh, I got a track day on September 13th, so I'm going to check them beforehand, which they'll have about five, 600 miles on them since I put them in to see what they look like. And then I'll check them after, um, you know, a day of abuse, let's say, and see if there's any notable changes, you know. And maybe it's just that one uh, high fuel tune that did it. We get into a, a longer duration uh, uh, ejection, injection event, and that maybe is, is what's doing it. And so I think what we're, we're going to do is, I, what I would like to do is keep it to um, a higher rail pressure, shorter injection duration um if we you know to add more fuel uh to hopefully keep keep that injection um event at the most ideal timing possible uh to keep those egts down and you know if this if this tip would have broken off i mean it would have been game over and it would have been you know destroyed engine again or at least a destroyed cylinder so um yeah got to keep working these bugs out and once i once i have you know a little more information on this um then i'm you know i think i'm I, i'm going to dyno again i've been holding off because of the things like this bracket and then and you know and thanks to dark side they um they took care of me and and sent me a new bracket and the actuator actually um after this broke so i i really appreciate them standing behind their their uh their stuff and taking care of me so uh, more to come